Let's take a look at how we can use lead and coefficient test on a HP Prime graphing calculator. And we're going to be working with this uh, this function here. So um, actually, let me write that down. So I got f of x is equal to x to the third plus 18x squared plus 56x minus 192. Now let's talk about the leading um, coefficient test. It uh, only looks at the leading term. So the only one we're concerned with is this first term, assuming it's in standard form. So the rest of it doesn't matter. We could ignore that uh, for purposes of leading coefficient test. So we're looking at this. Now it has a coefficient. Well, the coefficient is the number that's in front of it, which in this case is the invisible one. And specifically, it's positive. We want to identify if it's positive or negative. Now it also has a power associated with it. That power is also called our degree. Because it's our first term, it has the largest um, largest power of x in our problem. And the degree is odd, since it's 3. Okay, let's see how that works then. We're going to um, have a, um, two cases. We'll have an even degree. So an even degree. And we'll have an odd degree. Now for our coefficient, we're also going to have two cases. We have a positive coefficient. Now I know you can't read my writing very well, but and then we have a negative coefficient. Okay. Now this box right here is if you got an even degree and a positive coefficient. What that means is up to the left, up to the right. Now, if you have a down in this box, if you have an even degree and you got a negative coefficient, that means it's down to the left, down to the right. Over in this box, we got an odd degree, positive coefficient. It's uh, down to the left, up to the right. And this box down here is an odd degree negative coefficient, and it's up to the left, down to the right. And you should have been given this in, in your college algebra class. Okay, well how in the world was that ever going to um, come into play with the graphing calculator? Well, let's graph this. Uh, you should be in your apps menu. If you're not, press your apps button. We want to go into function, so highlight it and press enter. And if you have something on this line, you can ba backspace over it to kind of clean it out, or you just start typing it in. And we'll do x to the third, so I'll do x key, x to the y, and I'll put 3 in. I'm currently in exponent mode, so I have to press my right arrow key to get it out of before I start typing the rest. Plus 18x squared plus 56x minus 192. And then enter. And now if I press plot, this is what I see. Now I had to play with this to begin with, because initially my um, zoom was set up so I could see enough of the graph to understand what's going on with it. And I'm looking at that, and I'm thinking, well, it doesn't seem right. It seems like a line. Well, maybe you can zoom out a little bit, and you can understand more about it. Now if I look at this one here, just by having just that line there, maybe I don't see what's going on. I have to understand a little bit more about what x to the third looks like. But if I look at this, uh, odd degree, so we're looking at this column, a positive coefficient would be this box right here. It says down to the left, up to the right. Okay, now that, that seems uh, reasonable for uh, the graph we came up with, but we know that x to the third is not a line. So we know something's wrong to begin with. Um, so we can press plot, or not plot, um, press menu, choose zoom, and then you could um, uh, do a zoom out. So you could choose four. Now before you do that, you want to make sure your, um, your cursor is in the correct place. You see how trace is on here? If I click the trace to shut it off, 
Now I can move my cursor up to the center if I want where I want to zoom out from. So I move my old fashioned cursor. I know you can't see it very well because it's on the axis. If I move it out, see see the plus there? I guess it's not flashing. I'm thinking Texas Instruments. Okay, I put it right there. Now if I do zoom and I choose uh, zoom out, um, there it is, number four, then zooms out. Okay, well, now I'm seeing it's down to the left, up to the right, and it's kind of got a shape of a X a third, which tells me I don't need to um, zoom out too much more. I could change this a little bit to try to see the, um, the high points and low points. I could do another zoom and choose zoom out. But if you go too much, and you're probably going to lose track of what it really looks like. So again, this is an aid, besides actually knowing what functions look like. This is an aid to help you figure out what's, what's exactly going on with the graph, uh, to try to get more of the picture of it on your um, HP Prime uh, graphing calculator. Anyway, that's how to use the, um, the leak and coefficient test in conjunction with the calculator to try to get a better picture of what's going on with it. Again, it's not perfect. You have to know what these graphs generally look like uh, in addition, as we saw from the, the first example.